Rumors, 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 as always, it's and it's spicy, spicy, spicy. What's going on, everybody? Hey, I'm Craig. Welcome to the Side Scrollers Podcast channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Join the 103,000 normal men who have found common sense in video games and entertainment. We're here to talk about all this stuff and laugh at it. It's great. Okay, speaking of laughing at things, let's talk about Ubisoft. It's been easy to laugh at them. They've had miss after miss after miss. Obviously, Skull and Bones, the first ever quadruple A game, which bombed dramatically uh which was i mean that was like rejected to have court straight up dikembe mutombo style rest in peace dikembe uh with that said it was it was a rough one uh for skull and bones they also released x defiant the call of duty killer a free to play called it call of duty killer i believe it was a uh, uh it was touted as that they even brought in the former uh main guy at call of duty x Def uh, for x defined which we're going to get to in just a little bit obviously we all know what happened with star wars outlaws and how that drastically underperformed and of course we've seen the uh the movement of assassin's creed shadows to 2025 potentially later as they go with that said i want to i want to key in on x defiant because x defiant launched not even six months ago and there are already rumors of it being shut down and this comes from video game -er .com. great domain right there very valuable uh video gamer .com. x defined is reportedly shutting down after just four seasons um and it kind of talks about this right here it says ahead of the launch x defiant was given the title of call of duty killer by several players looking for a first person shooter inspired by the simplistic mechanics of the old call of duty games and i gotta be honest Based off what I've seen, it looks like it actually pulls off an old school Call of Duty deathmatch style uh, game pretty well. I mean, obviously, it has uh, some of the newer elements. It's uh, quality of life improvements and stuff. It's not Call of Duty Modern Warfare from way back like 2007, but it definitely is a, a fast paced version of like Call of Duty. They even brought in, as it says, Mark Rubin, the former Call of Duty dev who uh, I believe had headed up Call of Duty at one point. And he said that they previously stated X Defiant would be a game that you could love for a long time. We'd love you long time. Someone's going to get pissed at me for that. I don't care. Uh, but you can love X Defiant long time. But it says a recent leak claims the doors are about to close for the shooter after four seasons of post-launch content. Now, here's the thing. It's currently in the middle of season two. Uh, but there were previously a report from Insider Gaming revealing that the developers have until the end of Season 3 to increase its player count or risk losing its post-launch support. Uh, as it says, it's in the middle of Season 2 right now, which launched in September 25th and added a bunch of new content, a new faction, weaponry, maps, game modes, and more. And Ubisoft uh, continues with its post-launch content plans. The pressure to deliver more players at a time when several new shooters are releasing is going to be a tough task. Now, this all stems from this right here this guy over on x who is an x who is a game developer who knows people goes by the handle just for leaks two and this is from his his page right here uh he talks about the game itself uh and he says in it that uh, he would love to see the game succeed uh, i personally played played the game before it was released they did not listen to feedback netcode was a big problem since it since the first ever play test mark rubin is misrepresenting the game status to appeal to investors straight up lying i would love call of duty to get some more serious competition uh you still can can't walk upstairs without camera shake uh when you mantle an object you're still locked on to animation which feels weird there's a lack of replayability since uh the grind is not worth it there's just so much and them being so arrogant. Now, once again, he's talking about uh, the general idea that this is this is a, a rumor that he put out saying that X Defiant is pretty much already dead. And he says Ubisoft research team is actively asking the testers uh, to have another in-house test session and give and repeat feedback, uh, their feedback. Multiple sources told that it's possible that the game will end its support after season four if they can't get enough players if they can't get enough players now once again they're in the middle of season two right now and this is this got passed around x in a pretty quick way uh it you know got passed around because ubisoft has been a, a a hot topic you know they've with all the misses that they've had so mark rubin actually responded and he says to be crystal clear, there are no plans to shut down after season four. I've literally been in meetings as of last week to discuss our year two plans. But right now we are super focused on improving the technical experience, which includes net code and adding more content for seasons three and four. We have done very little marketing. So yes, our numbers are down, 
But that is just to give the team the time to get the game in a better place before we do bigger spins on marketing to bring new players to the game and to bring back players that have left. And they have certainly seen a dramatic drop in uh, in player count, but we'll get to that in just a second. But first, I want to see the response to that. And there's there's been a, a lot of people that'll immediately go like, no, 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 it's it's Mark Rubin. He's the he's the lead of the game. Like he he's of course he's it's he's honest. It's it's the guy. It's the big business, and it's the game. I mean, they spent millions of dollars on developing this game. Of course, he's going to come out and say, no, 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 everything's fine. He's not going to be like, yeah, we're cutting it off. It's only been six months. We're cutting it off. This is not a Concord situation where where they're like, oh, it's been ten days. Well, better cut it loose. Um, and once again, Concord may still be coming back, but I saw this and this guy's like, uh, I hate, look, I hate to be the doubter, but I'll believe it when I see genuine changes along the way. And the, the guy who, uh, posted this, this just for leaks to the Sean Weber gentleman, he took this very personally. He says shit, shit in the industry is about to get personal done with big ass companies lying. I will fight for consumer rights. And he also tweeted at the, at, uh, at, uh, pixels of Mark says, are you mad, bro? <laughs> Maybe I should have accepted the request. But no one will listen, anyways. Uh, and over here, he's talking. He's talking about Mark Rubin right here. Just you know. So there's been a lot of back and forth, and we talk about this. Actually, well, it seems like to be a, a common reoccurrence on the on the as we've talked about news. Is there's this idea of like anonymous sources, and we talk a lot about anonymous sources. Um, and it depending on where those anonymous sources come from, whether it's traditional mainstream media or your your access media, your polygons, Kotaku's, IGNs, etc. Those are deemed credible, but if it comes from a guy on Twitter or X or whatever that hears something, well, I don't know. Now, this guy has in the past apparently got some rumors right, uh, but you know, uh, we'll see if this one is. Now, what about the player count? And that's the big thing here. I think that's really important to bring up. How is X Defiant doing? Now, a really good gauge for the interest of this game would always be to look at Twitch or YouTube. How? Is the game being received? Are people watching the game? Is it exciting to watch? But we don't have player numbers on X Defiant because it's locked behind Ubisoft's uh, service. But we do have viewership on X. And check this out right here. This is from X Defiant. It says, as of right now, as I'm recording this, and this is pretty average for the game, around 704 players watching the game right now, live on 85 channels. So not a whole lot of people are playing this. Now, this has come an all-time peak of 203,000 players at some point. And uh, this has been a, a reoccurring theme where you see a game that's launched and all of a sudden it drops all the way down after, after an initial launch. This game launched back May 21st, 2024. Look at that. It's actually popped up in interest because people are talking about it. So over 1,000 people playing right now, which are 1,000 people watching right now. It doesn't mean they're playing. It means they're watching right now. So maybe a streamer with a few hundred few hundred. Uh, uh, viewers have started playing the game and it's ready to go. Now, it is important to reference uh, along the way. You can see the the downtick, by the way, of, of watch hours down here of 1.3 in August, less than a million in September, and it's dropping here in October, which, you know, there's still plenty of time in October for that to continue. Uh, but if you go back and you actually look at when the Ubisoft stock started to drop, we know that this game and and uh, Ubisoft is is kind of in a mess right now. When you look at their stock in particular, this game released May 21st, 2024. And that's that's right here, May 21st, 2024. This was, uh, it was released and it was at $22.50. That was the high that day. And right now we're trading at just about half of that right now. And that's after it's climbed after rumors of a, pot a potential 10 cent sell-off with Ubisoft. But you can see actually that there was a pretty big uh, drop in the stock right before it was released. And then it kind of saw a little bounce, which you see pretty regularly. People people buy that dip. Now I'm sure there are a lot of people buying the dip down here. But you wonder if that has to do with the reception of X Defiant because it, it just kind of, it's, it's kind of come out and it's just kind of went like a fart in the wind. You know, that's the old saying. And I would love to hear if you've played X Defiant and what your thoughts are on X Defiant. Is this a game that you're interested in? Um, because this is a game that that was touted, highly touted along the way. And do you feel that if they were to throw millions of dollars in marketing, would that allow players to uh, who have never seen the game the idea of them potentially getting this game to profitability? Because the biggest thing here is that all those players left. I think that's the most important thing when it comes to any game is you have these players who played it, tried it, liked it enough to play it a little bit, and then just decided, mm, I've had enough. There's better options out there. Uh, so 
anyways, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you checked out X Defined? If you haven't, what would take for you to get into X Defined? Hey, subscribe right here. Go watch another video right here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you guys find us tomorrow morning, every morning, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Central Time when we're live with the Side Scrollers Podcast.